Hey there, Dr. Gray here, back again from medical school HQ.net. Today we're going to go over a little bit about writing prescriptions. This is something that's not really covered well in medical school. It's something that's learned on the fly once you're on the wards and in residency. Uh, and it's probably not the best place to learn how to write prescriptions since when you're learning you're prone to errors and there are already hundreds of thousands of medication errors every year resulting in thousands of deaths and billions of dollars uh, lost in our economy. So hopefully you can stick around for a few minutes here today and, and learn a little bit about writing prescriptions. This is just going to cover the basics, stuff uh, about structure and uh, some other things. Uh, and at the end, I'll give you a link uh, to uh, give you a little bit more info on prescriptions and, and how to write them and, and things to avoid. So let's get started. Uh, obviously, when you're writing a prescription, you're writing it for somebody. So the number one thing we need to do is the patient name. A second thing is going to be a second patient identifier, uh, a JCO mandated uh, rule is that we need to use two patient identifiers whenever identifying a patient. So um, we use typically name and date of birth. Your hospital may have um, a different specific identifier. So that's name, date of birth, patient identifiers, and then we get into the meat of the prescription, which includes the medication and the strength of that medication. After medication and strength, we get into the amount of the medication to be given the route, and the frequency. Sometimes there's a, a Y in here as well. So medication, strength, amount, is it one pill, two pills, uh, a liter, um, any kind of like five cc's if you're giving uh, pediatric doses. Route is going to be PO if it's by mouth or PR per rectum, uh, IV for intravenous, and then frequency. Is it once a day, twice a day, at nighttime, with meals? And then all these abbreviations, again, like I said, I'll give you a link at the end uh, so you can check out uh, all that in depth. After this, we're going to tell the pharmacist uh, how much of the medication to dispense and we're going to tell them how many refills that we want the patient to be able to pick up. One little trick here, I'll, I'll tell you when I, when I dispense medications, uh, when I write a, a dispense number, uh, I will typically write out the number right, like that after the actual numbers. And that's to prevent somebody from writing another zero at the end. Likely not going to happen, but I like to be a little bit uh, on the safe side. So that's the, a general breakdown of prescriptions. So let's erase that real quick, and let's do an actual prescription. And I'm going to go ahead and put a template on here just so you can see what we're doing. So again, name. We'll do John Smith, his date of birth. We'll make something up. So his medication. Let's do one of the most common medications we prescribe. Let's do some metformin, which is a oral um, medication for diabetes. And we're going to do a common strength of 500 milligrams. So when you're, when you're prescribing and you don't know the strengths of the medications, there are many apps um, 
like Hippocrates, there's uh, Pharmacopoeia, uh, the pocket book that pretty much everybody carries around in their white coats. Um, if you use Hippocrates, we just did an app review that you can check out on YouTube. Um, but that's where you'll get uh, the strengths of the medications from, from looking it up. And then once you do it enough, um, you'll, you'll learn what the strengths are. I always thought it was amazing how the residents knew pretty much off the top of their head all the strengths of their medications. And then I realized that when you do it 500 times a day, it's, it's pretty easy to, to learn. So metformin, 500 milligrams. And then we go amount. So we'll do one tab. And you can abbreviate, I'll write it over here, one tab, you can abbreviate as a T with a dot over it, a little shorthand. Uh, metformin, we'll go back over here to route. Metformin is taken by mouth, which is PO. And frequency, it's a BID drug. So BID is twice a day. We're going to dispense 60 of them which is a one month supply because so, it's taken twice a day so we need to do a little math hopefully we don't need your calculators for this one uh, sometimes you do need a calculator but this one uh, I don't think you do so we we typically average 30 days in a month um, and twice a day is 30 times 2 and we get 60 and we'll do refills zero and then we sign it and date it and that's your prescription so let's go ahead and make it look a little more official this is your signature pad or your prescription pad rather and we write our name patient's name their date of birth and then we get into the prescription. And remember, the prescription is for the pharmacist. You don't necessarily have to write it in English, although there's a big push for writing um, prescriptions in all English instead of using Latin abbreviations um, that we typically use. And, and that's just, those are recommendations to help prevent uh, the medication errors. Um, but if you stick to standard abbreviations that are well known and uh, write legibly, then uh, you should be okay. So let's go ahead and write this again. So we're going to do metformin, 500 milligrams. Again, you want to make that look like a 500. And then we'll do one tab, PO, BID, number 60. Refill zero, sign, and date. And that's your prescription. Not, uh, not too crazy, uh, but it takes you a little bit of time to get used to. Um, for a lot more info on prescriptions and common mistakes and things you need to avoid when writing prescriptions, you can uh, check out, let me write this on here, medicalschoolhq.net slash scripts. Uh, this will lead you to... Uh, a prescription 101 uh, post which has uh, a lot more info uh, for you. That's it for uh, writing prescriptions. Uh, I hope that gave you a little bit of insight and take a little bit of the intimidation away uh, once you start writing prescriptions on your own. Um, to keep keep up to date with us, check us out on YouTube. Again, these are uh, our links here medicalschoolhq.net slash YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter will t uh, take you to each of those uh, pages. hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please subscribe to keep up to date with uh, everything we're doing here at Medical School HQ. If there's something uh, 
you have a question about, feel free to contact us through our contact page at medicalschoolhq.net. And that's it. Thanks, Dr. Gray. Out.